Vito Russo, a man with heartfelt dedication and passion towards LGBT rights and equality, left an uplifting mark on society during the height of the AIDS epidemic. He was a man with an inspiring and intense presence who lost his life to AIDS in 1990. Here's his story. Born in 1946, Russo grew up in East Harlem, New York, knowing from a young age that he was different. Russo was not active in sports like most kids his age, but instead had a passion for watching movies. By age 10, he had been called three derogatory names, homo, fag, and queer. To escape ridicule, he went to the Museum of Natural History in Central Park West, a popular cruising ground for gays. By the age of 14, he began experimenting with his sexuality. After years of experiencing personal oppression, Russo witnessed a community response to the brutal treatment of gays. Although Vito did not take part himself, he sat in a tree in the park and watched the Stonewall raids take place. However, the police raid of Snake Pit Bar on March 9, 1970 was what truly inspired Russo to become involved in the LGBT movement. Among the 150 people arrested, a young man named Diego attempted to escape the prison in fear of losing his visa and jumped through a window, landing on a spiked fence. Upon demonstrations and leaflets stating, no matter how you look at it, Diego Vinales was pushed, Vito made his political connection to the oppression of gay people. After joining GAA, Russo recognized that a coexisting cultural revolution was taking place. Many homosexuals would prefer to go to GAA firehouse dances than participate in political meetings. Vito referred to them as politics you could dance to, providing sexual liberation for all who attended. To further this progress, Vito began Firehouse Flicks. This was an all-night movie festival in the GAA firehouse that provided another form of community and a place of safety for the LGBT. As the GAA degenerated over their lack of organization, Vito focused on his writing career. More significantly, he worked in the Museum of Modern Art as a graduate student in cinema at NYU. Russo began sifting through film archives to discover representations of gay characters from the late 1800s to today for his book, The Cellulite Closet. By 1973, Russo presented his findings with small colleges around the area. He showed the many dark, evil innuendos cinema included throughout their movies on gay and lesbian characters. Even after the censorship code on banning homosexuality was broken, gay characters were still punished, creating a fear of homosexuality. Over 15 publishers rejected the celluloid closet before Harper & Co. finally accepted it in 1981. It became a top-selling piece as Russo was the first person to ever write about how Hollywood treated homosexuals. Vito furthered publicity on his success by hosting Our Time, the first ever gay television show which provided segments ranging from gossip to outing, overall promoting that gay is good. In the midst of the AIDS epidemic, Russo fell in love with a man named Jeffrey, who was diagnosed with AIDS. This marked the beginning of Russo's legacy battle as he transitioned from a gay activist to an AIDS activist. Being diagnosed with AIDS in 1985 and losing Jeffrey the following year, Russo was motivated to speak out against the media's inaccurate portrayal of the disease. He became one of the eight founding members of GLAAD that were attacking the media institutions oppressing LGBT communities fighting AIDS. He also participated in ACT UP's March of 1987 where they chanted, Fight AIDS, ACT UP, Fight Back. He wore shorts exposing his sores, demonstrating that if he had AIDS and was still fighting, other people could too. In 1990, during the ACT UP Pride March, while too sick to walk, Russo appeared on the balcony of Larry Kramer's apartment and everyone started chanting, Vito, Vito, Vito. Russo passed away that November. However, his legacy still lives on. After we kick the shit out of this disease, we are all going to be alive to kick the shit out of this system so that this never happens again.